All right, greetings, Jim AG6IF. I've been uh, tweaking my 40 meter loop antenna today a little bit and um, getting ready for field day and so on. So anyway, I've shortened, if you follow the last two videos, I've shortened the antenna slightly to get a resonant frequency. So here's what the whole sweep looks like. First of all, I'm using an AIM 4170. This is a, this is the uh, 40 meter band right here. You kind of see the, this is the SWR. And this, this gray or purple is the resonant frequency. So you can see we have a nice dip of SWR a little below 2.0 there, right in the middle of the band. Come over to 20 meters, where I, where I work a lot more. 20 meters, I want it to... Uh, so I've got a good resonance point right at the uh, PSK31 frequency. SWR comes down to about 1.1 1 .1 at uh, 14 decimal... 14070, which is pretty good. This loop also works uh, it'll work on uh, 15, right here is 15, uh, SWR is just slightly under 2 to 1. It's got some resonant points in there, so that's good. Uh, 17, you can work 17 also, this is without a tuner now. You can work 17 right here. And 10 isn't bad, it's not great, but, but the nice thing is 10, the resonant frequency right here, is my club frequency, so that helps me uh, when I'm on a club net and so on. You can see where this purple line crosses the center line. So, uh, this is a single 40 meter loop. It's 133 feet long and it's in a horizontal delta configuration, triangular. It's only about six or eight feet above the ground and it does a pretty good job making contacts uh, 8,000 miles away with it. So, uh, we've got 40. We've got 20 looking good, 15, you can tune 17, uh, and even 12 looks pretty good, and 10, 10 works as well, all with one antenna. Uh, pretty nice little uh, setup there, cheap to make too. Um, okay, thanks for watching, AG6IF saying 7-3, take care.